Wow, wait until you see what Canvas' latest tools with AI technology can do. Now I recommend Canva to as many people as I can, especially novices or people that might be a little bit intimidated or unfamiliar with graphic design tools like Photoshop or Illustrator or InDesign. Canva takes all the guesswork out and does half of the work for you. You get so much for such a low, low cost. Now, all the offerings that Canva provides is for another video, but today our main focus is their recent implementation of AI technology. With their prices, this is almost unbeatable. See what I mean? Let's take a look at their pricing page. As you can see, there is a free version of Canva, which you get a lot, but if you really wanna up your game, Canva Pro is only 119 a year. I highly recommend Canva Pro because what you get for it for 120 a year is unreal. But I digress. Let's go on to the power of Canva's new AI technology. Okay, so all the magic happens in Canva's new Docs Creator. This came out a few months ago where you can now create documents within Canva. This is where all the magic happens, literally, because Canva's AI writer is called Magic. Canva Magic Write. This is how we access that. So, as I scroll down this page for a quick overview, you can hit the Magic Write button and give it a task like create social media posts for me. And just like ChatGPT, it will do that. It will create you a list of different options, different headers, Google ads, anything that you want. So we're looking at Canvas display right now and it's giving you a demonstration. But the other cool thing about this is that you can build visually from the ground up, meaning when you're in your document and you have your text all written down, you can now ask it to create images with their new text to image AI technology. That's where you can tell Canva to provide a certain type of image and within seconds, it will spit that image out. For example, the other day I asked it to create a brown puppy eating food. And within about 20 to 30 seconds, it gave me four options to choose from. That all can be done within Canva. You can literally click and drag images and videos from the left-hand side to the right-hand side into your document panel, and boom, it's there. You can make beautiful documents, and everything is done within the Documents app, meaning videos, images, graphics, infographics, anything that you want. Okay, so now that I'm on Canva's homepage, one of the first options it's going to give me up here where I'm hovering, start writing. That is the new Canva Docs template. Okay, now we're in Canva Docs. I have my document open, and as I click within the document, you're gonna notice a plus button on the left-hand side of the page. Hit that. There's two things you're gonna see. One's called Magic, and one's Magic Write. I'll show you what the two differences are very quickly. First, let's just start with Magic. Magic is where you could enter in any form of text like provide an image of XYZ or provide a graphic of this and it will do it. Here's what I mean. Let's just say I'm gonna type in puppy. As I type that word in, I have options to choose from. Graphics, photos, videos. Let's go with a photo. I hit photo and it gives me a photo of a puppy very quickly. And there it is. Let's hit that plus button again. I'm in magic, not magic right. Let's do puppy one more time. This time we have graphic. Let's see what it spits out for graphic. There, a graphic. One more time. And let's try video. I'm typing in puppy again, this time video. And you can see immediately, it gives me videos to choose from. And you can play that video within the document. So you can literally see how fast this is. The thing about Canva is, I've noticed, is that the request that you provide it, everything is extremely fast. So like I just showed you here, three things we asked it to do regarding the word puppy. And immediately, it almost spit it out that image, that video, and that graphic. Pretty impressive because Canva has a huge focus on productivity and this is certainly doing the trick. Okay, so let's jump back over to the documents and see what else we can do with this time Magic Write. Right, same thing. Hit this plus button on the left hand side. Now we're in Magic Write. This is going to be Canva's AI technology that emulates ChatGPT. Now, check this out. I hit Magic Write and let's just try the example that they're providing for us. Write five tips on how to overcome writer's block. Okay, I'll hit enter. Let's see what it spits out. Okay, awesome. Five tips on how to overcome writer's block. Let's see what other examples they have. Here's another example. Five Twitter posts announcing a product launch for a new alarm clock phone app. Okay, that's cool. Let's try it. Cool, okay. One more thing. Now let's do our own. Magic write. I'm going to ask it, write a poem to a spouse. <laughs> cool. 
My beloved, my partner, my heart's companion, my life's joy, my soul's sweetest song. Your love is a blessing, a gift beyond words, a love that makes me strong. That's cool. Let's hit the plus button another time. Magic right. This time I'm going to ask it, give me an elevator pitch for a computer. Okay. Elevator pitch for a computer. Computer technology has revolutionized the way we work, play, and communicate. Computers are essential to our everyday lives and becoming increasingly more powerful and efficient. Not bad. Let's add more. Let's keep going. Let's, let's try... Social media strategy for SEO. Okay. It gave me five points. Keywords, links, hashtags, incorporate visuals, monitor insights. Okay, not bad. Now let's make things a little bit more fun. I'm asking Canva to write a rap song. I'm not a rapper, my flow's not great, but I'm gonna give it a shot, no need to wait. This rap's gonna be short but full of heart, cause I'm not here to tear anyone apart. <laughs> and then it even gives you a chorus, and then verse, chorus, verse. Not bad, Canva. Who knew that you could rap? So let's make believe this is a, a, a full document we're going to use. Let's just add some visual appeal to it. So I'm going to hit the plus icon, go to design. Once I'm in design, on the left-hand side, it's going to give me a lot of templates I can choose from. Which is great, because I'm a visual person. And let's say I like the very first one. I hit that, a very warm welcome, with that nice gradient blue background. Hit save, and it's going to automatically apply that as a heading for me on this document. So just like that, I add some nice color and pop to it. Let's do a little bit more. Let's go to that plus button. And as you see, as I'm scrolling down, you can add heading, subheading, body, embed, table, checklist, bullet list, emoji, pie chart, bar chart. I mean, it's pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and do bar chart. You can add a bar chart instantly like that. And on the left-hand side, that's where you can enter in the different fields to determine how big or how small the graphs are going to be. Okay, let's try it again add a little bit more visual appeal. Logos, I select logo. If you have your logo saved in Canva, it gave it to me, and now we have the metrics viewed logo within my document. Okay, so once we're all done here, and let's say we like this document, it looks good, it, it was pretty successful with everything we asked it to do, now you can come in here, and in the top right hand corner, we can ask it to convert to a presentation. So it's basically taking this document we made and converting it into their version of a PowerPoint or a keynote presentation making it extremely easy to kill two birds with one stone. I hit get started, it's going to create the presentation, and I can choose a design, go with my brand and brand colors if I have those uploaded. It knows my colors for Metrics Mule, and let's just say I go with the uh, first one, and I hit create my presentation. So the awesome thing about Canva, a lot of times I myself, or we get frozen with trying to come up with visual ideas or to come up with the aesthetic of how a design should be made. The awesome thing about Canva is that it's so visual heavy that it gives you so many options to choose from. Once you choose that option, then you can kind of go down a rabbit hole and it will give you sub options and then sub options. You just have so many options to choose from. It's pretty unreal. So let's go back to our page. Our presentation's done wrapping up. It created my official presentation based off that one document I made. It did a very good job making it visually appealing using my color scheme. My favorite new release by Canva is the converting text to image with an AI image generator. Turn text into an image using Canva's free AI image generator app and use them to add visual flavor to your design. Type what you'd like to see and watch it come to life. Okay, so when you, when you hit new design, you could choose the type of dimensions you want. Document, video, Facebook, post, cover, Instagram post, logo, presentation. Uh, it's the, the list is way too long to go over all of them but essentially you can use it in any type of format and design. I'll make it simple, I'll just use doc. Okay, so over on the left hand side, we already discussed the magic tool and that's done here with the plus symbol, but now to utilize Canva's new AI text to image on the left hand side is where you're gonna make that magic happen. So there's three examples it's giving us, let's just click on those to see what happens. First one, photo of a magical forest city from the future. Generate image. Wow, let's choose one we like. I like that one. I clicked it and now it's in my document. Let's say I didn't like it. Let me do generate more. See what happens. And there you have it. A panda riding a bike through a city with depth of field. <laughs> okay, nice. And so you can even get as specific as you want. I said depth of field and it did it. That's pretty cool. All right, start again. And so as you see at the bottom, it says choose your style. I can choose concept art, painting, photo, drawing, 3D, pattern. Let me try 3D. I'll just make it simple. I'll stick with the puppy and hit generate image. Okay, so I typed in puppy and I chose 3D. Not bad. 
And now I'm going to choose my own. I chose painting a superhero flying through the sky. That's a painting of a superhero flying through the sky. So you guys tell me what you think. And again, thank you so much for watching. If you could, please hit that subscribe button. It means so much for your support. And we'll see you next time.